Hey guys and welcome back to the last video of this series about the MyCloud EX2 uh, Don't mind these drives over here, it's already set for the next uh, scene that I will be recording which I will be sharing my storage and backup solutions uh, How do I store, how do I backup and but let's move on with this topic here which is my cloud ex2 is it worth it in my opinion totally yes it costs around 540 uh, euros in europe uh, and if you haven't watched the other videos uh, just check out below the video uh, you will have the unboxing the interface the tests the, all the tests that i made to this machine uh, and in my opinion just and first of all regarding the price point uh, if you have in attention that uh, each of the drives Western Digital Red uh, drives 4 terabytes each and I've got two in here uh, it will cost around 180 euros per drive uh, per hard drive so that will give us a total of 360 euros giving us a result of around 160 euros for the device itself uh, there are other solutions, there are cheaper solutions, uh, whether if they are better or worse, um, it's, it's uh, opinions. Uh, for me, these 160 euros for the device itself, and what I'm paying is not only the device, it's the software that it's in here, it's just plug and play. Uh, you spend about 5-10 minutes setting it up and leave it to his work so that's the main advantage of this device is that uh, of course you can build your own uh, if you tell me hey Robert I already got uh, drives at home I don't need to spend you can buy the box uh, empty and place your drives inside um, so you don't need to, to spend that much and one thing that I would like to mention is uh, those 160 euros save me a lot of time the price that I paid just for the box uh, saves me a lot of time so I can spend that time uh, actually working and <laughs> having a return a financial return uh, in this case uh, more pleasant than building a NASH from uh, from the ground up um, or buying a NASH with an interface which is not so uh, friendly as this one what I would like to mention as well is why did I go with Western Digital is because I'm really happy with their products I've got two other products here that I've been using uh, for the last three, four years. Um, really happy with it. When I saw this one coming out, um, I thought that it was a really good uh, option to to go. And um, on the next video, uh, I will be talking more. How do I do my storage and backup? Uh, but you might be wondering, a hey, ex2, ex4. To be honest with you, I could go with the AX4 for, for about the same price, uh, around more than 100 euros, um, and have even two slots empty, so two times four, and on a future upgrade for the 16 terabytes in total. But um, it's for me at this moment, it's not uh, a priority and it's not necessary those 16 terabytes using RAID 5 uh, that would go to. Uh, 12 terabytes of, of usage space so not wanting to give a, a very long talk yes it's totally worth it the price um, hassle-free connected and um, and you're ready to go of course and coming back a, a little bit if you have a computer an old computer at home if you have your hard drives you can just build your own NAS not needing uh, a device like this of course one of the advantages is uh, electricity consume is very low on this one um, as I mentioned before hassle-free you don't have to spend endless hours configuring uh, checking out what is wrong and what it's, well you know what, <laughs> what I mean so in here it's just a plug-and-play um, and you pay the price for it so we are talking about um, in total this sets up 8 terabytes 540 euros which for me is um, well it's worth it the price <laughs> and especially if you are uh, using it for prof your professional needs which is what I'm using it for if you say hey, it's just for a uh, home usage for my media for you know not not to make uh, 
not to make money out of it because you don't make money out of this, but to, to save the projects that you 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 charge your clients money for, which is in my case, uh, if you don't need that, uh, you probably want to go with a cheaper solution. There is a four terabyte MyCloud, uh, which is the next version to my book life, which is one I've got here. Uh, it will cost around 180 euros, so less than half uh, of this device. It can stream your media, it can stream uh, everything. And the interface is very similar to this, less options, yes. Uh, you will not have RAID, you will not have redundancy, you will not have uh, any of those kind of options. But, uh, and uh, there's now the MyBook, uh, sorry, not the MyBook, the MyCloud um, with two uh, drives as well. Uh, my book, uh, my cloud. Sorry, once again, I'm really used to the my book life. My cloud uh, mirror, which is the new version of the consumer grade, uh, but that's that's a bit expensive as well. Uh, so once you go uh, more than one drive, it will be expensive. Okay, wrapping this up, guys. So regarding my opinion, and of course, it's not just based on the opinion uh, of using this device for a couple of hours. It's based on the opinion that I have in general of Western digital devices. Um, so very reliable, um, haven't had any problem with those. If I had, I would share with you. And so this opinion is based on my past experience with Western digital as well. And on the super hassle-free, just connect it, uh, set it up and let it do its thing. That's what this, <laughs> this is all about. Guys, uh, I hope I could help with this. On the next video, I will talk about my uh, storage and backup solution, as I mentioned. I will talk what I've been using so far, what I'm using, in what I will be using in present and in the future. And uh, also, what's my plan to upgrade once this one is not uh, enough anymore. And why didn't I go for something bigger, like I mentioned, and <laughs> um, for almost the same price point. Okay, so if you are interested in that, I will paste the link uh, below and you can check it out. Thanks for watching. My name is Roberto George and bye-bye.